Hello, welcome back to Supernova Traveler where I will be reviewing TV shows from around the world and sharing my travel experiences through vlogs. Today is another review of Married at First Sight. Please like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. We are starting with season 11, couple number two, Karen and Miles. Look, Karen is a trip and I'll explain my stance as this video goes on. She describes herself as a risk averse person, but yet she signed up for the show. That's definitely going to be problem number one. Her mom and dad do not agree with this choice, but they are very supportive and they do show up. Let's get into this review by letting Karen introduce herself. My name is Karen Landry. I'm 30 years old and I work in project management. In my last relationship, we were together for about five years and I did kind of put up some walls. Some of them might slightly still kind of be there, <laughs> um, but I want to be married at first sight. <laughs> this is actually out of character for me. I am normally a risk adverse person. <laughs> so my first impression of Karen is that she is sweet, down to earth, and really wants to be settled. But this risk adverse woman is carrying some emotional baggage. It will be a bit of a nitpicker. She is going to be looking for red flags and concerns with Miles because her personality is completely adverse to what the show is about. But let's hope this works out. Well, let's move on to Miles. I didn't get his intro because me and Adobe just are not friends. But my first impressions of Miles is that he is a good man. Of all the seasons of Married at First Sight that I've seen, this man has support from family and friends who vouch for him. Even one friend says everything about him says he is ready for marriage. I don't even remember the last time I heard someone say something like that on Married at First Sight. But don't believe, just look at this footage of him meeting with his friends and shopping for his wedding attire. I've worked really, really hard to, to be the man that I am. And I'm going to continue to work hard to, to be that man and be that husband. Why am I ready? Everything you do is in search of like love. That's all you've ever wanted. Ready to be married is this one who's not. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. I think Miles is definitely ready to get married. He's committed in everything that he's done, everything that he does. A lot of the brides are wearing high. Miles wants his wife to be excited and taken aback when he's seen at the altar. Miles is very perceptive, warm, and welcoming. And it's like he has no apprehension in his decision at all. He's just extremely excited, excited about love, and just excited to go on his journey with the woman that the experts picked out for him. Surprisingly, along with all the support that Miles has from his family and friends in his process of getting married at first sight, he will also be joined by another cast member, which is his friend, Woody, who will be married to another individual that we will review later on in the segments. As we get closer to the wedding day, we've already seen Miles picking out his suit, and now Karen picks out her dress. And I have to say that her dress is one of my favorite dresses on this season. It has lace sleeves and lots of details and it suits her so well. She looks completely beautiful in this dress. Sadly, in the coming days before the wedding, I get the red flag alert. So Mary at first sight production screws up yet again and sends Karen the name of the man she is to marry. And like anyone, she goes and researches him, trying to find out every single detail. So while Miles is over here excited to meet his wife, Karen is having hella doubts and doesn't know what to do next. So Miles, who do you think you'll see when she's coming down the aisle? Baby girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like look at her and like, no, yeah, that's, that's, that's her. That's her. Yeah. You know, my biggest hope for the day is... She walked down the aisle that she's everything I dreamed of and more. I'm excited to also be the everything she dreamed of. I look like a whole husband right now. What actually happened? I got this text I don't think I was supposed to get. And they said his name, Miles, because I don't know who he is. You know his last name? Mm -hmm. I was like, let me look, dig. And I will tell you honestly, like, He's not really my type. Emotional. Emotional. 
Oh God, yeah. Just talking about feelings and feelings. Are you telling me that because this guy is emotional or just talks about his emotions, he's presumably not your type? Karen, you must be kidding me. How did that relationship go five years ago? Let's take a look. In my last relationship, we were together for about five years and I found out that he had a child with someone else while we were together. Like, girl, you don't have no type. Just let the experts do their job. There has the nerve to prejudge someone based off of online presence, talking about he too emotional. Now, I know we all judge people, but these people were pre-screened. Although Married at First Sight doesn't have the best track record, <laughs> like alleged stalkers, Mia, Bali, during the episode, Karen admits several times that she is not a risk taker. I mean, all four episodes leading up to their wedding, that's all she kept saying. She cries a lot and seems very stressed out. I swear she going to run away, back out this deal. But the day comes, she goes through with it. And I'm going to let you know I'm just completely in shock. It's a bank account. Always want to put in more than you take out. 100%. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're withdrawing, there are going to be fees. <laughs> you know what I mean? Think about it. It's a Deposits. bank account. It's a bank account. Deposits, not withdrawals, right? Hello. Love you. Miles' father gives him great advice. In a nutshell, he basically says marriage is work and you have to continuously be putting into that marriage. Um, his family is all in on this process and they're here whether it works out or it doesn't work out they love him and he's going to have a really great support system going through this process um at the wedding miles i believe is the only person that i've seen that went up to the mother of the bride or the family side and said hello to the mother and gave her a hug and it just reiterates that this is something that he really really wants and he wants to blend and he wants to be married and he looks like he does want this to be for a lifetime no <laughs> it definitely right now dancing together it's, it's kind of surreal to have karen uh be a real person uh, she's been a figure in our imagination since middle school <laughs> and so for for her to be uh a reality today is special Karen and Miles are finally married. They have their first dance and to tell the truth, they look really good together. And I think that the experts have done a great job in matching them thus far from what I know and from what I see. Um, my only thing is that Karen, I think is gonna really hold herself back from becoming open in the process. Um, so the couple meet each other's family then afterwards, Miles' dad, you know, is telling all his tea about his son, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the couple go ahead, they jet off to their honeymoon. Next up is going to be Olivia and Brett. Um, so please stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to get these videos out so I can catch up. So if you have any ideas, any questions, or you have any comments, please post them. I want to know what you are thinking about these videos thus far and what I can do to make them better, of course.